谁为爱世人愿舍身？这礼物化作活存的心灵。幸福是接受和活出这礼物的真谛，教我学习，爱到通时就如遇见主。人一生最愚钝，艳阳纵使多耀眼，如若没爱，仿佛天空阻隔了光线的障碍。请洁净我心眼，长留着爱的恩泉。清澈璀璨一个只有十一岁嘅小女孩，竟然做咗一件好多成年人都无法做到嘅事。她被强暴，但是她不愿意，然后那个人呢就，呃，杀了她十四刀。喺佢死之前，佢用最后一口气讲咗呢一句说话 ：Yes, I forgive Alessandro, and I want him to be with me forever in heaven. She's the saint of mercy, of holiness, of forgiveness. 主教会一向有恭敬圣人嘅传统，喺教会二千年嘅历史里面，被册封嘅圣人多不胜数。喺咁多圣人之中，最启发到 Father Carlos Martins 马天恩神父嘅系圣 Maria Goretti 圣玛利亚葛莱蒂。马天恩神父最初接触呢一位圣人嘅时候，佢仲系一位无神论者。佢被邀请去参加一个备证，由于当时冇信仰，佢只系怀住度假嘅心情参与。当佢到达备证中心嘅时候，不由自主被一啲圣像吸引住。So I arrived at this facility and it was beautiful. It, you know, I could see a statue of Mary. I mean, even an atheist can recognize Mary.、Uh, I saw a statue of Jesus with the holes in his hands. I knew it was Jesus. And then I saw a statue with a, a, a male saint holding a baby, and I figured, well, that's got to be Saint Joseph, his father.、And、then there was another statue of a woman, and and I didn't know who it was. And and I remember staring at this statue. There was a knife by her foot.、Um, there was no name on the statue. 呢位不知名嘅圣女就系圣玛利亚葛莱蒂。But I remember staring at that statue for a long time. It was. It was、uh, in that moment. What I was doing was was being aware how beautiful the faith was. Because as an atheist, I didn't want to be one. I saw and I knew of very committed Christians who lived beautiful lives, and I wanted what they had for me. But I couldn't believe. I, I just it it all seemed to me to be irrational. And so, as I'm looking at that statue, I remember being alone in this hallway.、Uh, I was just reviewing all of that. You know, the, 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 what Catholics believe is something so beautiful. It'd be wonderful if it was true. 喺备证期间，马天恩神父参与咗朝拜圣体，亦即系跪喺圣体面前陪伴敬拜耶稣，喺祈祷中同耶稣交流。令马天恩神父意想不到嘅系，佢竟然有好强烈嘅感受。When I started my first adoration shift, I had an experience with the Eucharist. That experience grew by the second shift. By the third shift, that experience was so powerful that the wheels fell off of of, of my atheism,、uh, and so I emerged from that retreat a believer. Years later, so not immediately, but years later. I came to understand that the day on which I converted was April 27th. That was the day Maria Goretti was beatified. The statue I had been looking at was that of Maria Goretti. So it just, in my heart, just seemed so clear that 
God used the day of her beatification, uh, the day in which she was glorified, to perform a miracle that I think was brought about by her intercession. I only was able to connect the dots years later, uh, but I think she was there at the very beginning with me personally. Natuno Niptolo, Hayago Wayu Yidale Sayon Gesutan, Kurle Loma, Dayo Yakotung Gatsing. Martin Yansen Fu Mulin Duilai do Liga Sutan, Yamai, Kilim Sing Malia, got like Taika Dain, so Hailiato Niptolo, Wayu Fusok de Chung Hoyge, Dai Lakli Nan Hoyge on Bin, Yidai Din Gung Hai Ganti Hoy Nan, Yik Yansi, Chut Yin Dotsi Hatam. 這個情況一直到聖瑪利亞國內體的遺體搬到這裡才停止 So if you notice, in this area here, the ocean, or the sea, is only about 40 meters away from the church. And that closeness was damaging to the basilica ever since its building about 300 years ago. Three times in its history, the building had to be raised because it had sunk so far into the ground. But when the body of Maria Goretti was moved inside it, and the basilica stopped sinking. Saint Maria Godlight,他的遗体安放在大殿地府。马天恩神父难得来到这里，当然要主持一台纪念这位圣女的弥撒。So we're here in front of the holy body of Saint Maria Goretti. This is been her resting place since her beatification. And what you're looking at here beneath the altar is a statue in which is a silver box which contains the major portions of her bones. The statue itself has been clothed in a dress and the hair adorning the statue was donated by a little girl who received a great healing from Saint Maria Goretti. So she donated her hair so that the statue could be adorned. And so what we have here is a testimony to love. Saint Maria Goretti, uh, as she is um, spoken about in the, in the shrine here and in the city of Natuno, is not a dead saint. She is a saint that is very much alive. She is a saint that is causing the miraculous, a saint that is, that, that is diffusing God's love in the world. 在天主教会册封的圣人当中,圣玛利亚·葛莱蒂是最年轻的。这位十一岁的小女孩是怎样成为圣人的呢?离大殿母几远,就是圣玛利亚·葛莱蒂的故居,亦即是她在1902年殉
to live in uh, because they were working his fields around the place. So this is a common kitchen. This was uh, the place where Maria Assunta Goretti, Maria's mother, would cook the meals for both families. Uh, this is also the place where Maria, once her father died, uh, she took over the role of running this place and, and running the house, looking after her, her siblings. Uh, this is where she would do her work. Tomalia 好不幸,Alexandro開始對瑪利亞心懷不軌,經常對他講一些令他尷尬不安的說話。瑪利亞越逃避,Alexandro想侵犯他的慾望就越大。Now Maria wanted nothing to do with Alessandro, but you see, she was in a very difficult position. She didn't have a father around to protect her, and her mother was at her wit's end trying to keep up with the demands of that farm. And Alessandro had manipulated the situation in that he would assist her mother with some of the more difficult farm tasks. So her mother viewed Alessandro as a friend, as a good neighbor. For that reason, Maria didn't reveal to her mother what Alessandro was threatening her with because she knew that if she did so, then her mother would sever the relationship between the family and Alessandro by moving the family away. And the family had nowhere to go. 1902年7月5日,Alexandro找到一個機會向瑪利亞施襲。We're here at the stairwell in front of St. Maria Goretti's house. On the day that she was attacked, Maria was sitting at the top of this stairwell. She was mending a shirt for Alessandro Serenelli, her attacker. She was also watching her baby sister, Teresa, who was an infant at the time. Alessandro Serenelli came in from the fields where he was working, just in front of me, and he walked up this stairwell past Maria and went into the house. He came out a short time later and pulled her into the house, and he had with him a, an instrument very similar to this one. This is a instrument used to sharpen the blades on farm instruments here in Italy during that time period. It's mounted on a wooden handle, and its, it's, it's, it's blade, its metal component, is approximately six inches long. And he placed the end of that file against Maria's throat, and he said to her, Maria, unless you do what I want you to do, I will kill you. Maria refused. Alexandro,在極度憤怒之下,用力氣插了瑪利亞九次,他力大驚人,甚至將短刀整彎了。瑪利亞失去知覺,瞓在地下。Alexandro就走了入自己房間,將自己反鎖起來。At a certain point, Maria regained consciousness, and she managed to drag herself over to the door, which is about six feet away and she managed to reach up and flip the latch holding the door closed so that she could make an attempt to open the door and cry out for help. Alessandro heard her flip that latch and he came back and stabbed her five more times. It was these second wounds that would kill Maria 24 hours later. Now you can imagine, right? You're, you're noting the distance that we're traveling. If you had 14 stab wounds in your body and you're lying on, a, on, on an ox cart uh, and being dragged, uh, you can imagine that experience, the pain and the, the suffering. Just the, and it is for that reason why Maria's, the last 24 hours of Maria's life, uh, from the time of her attack until the time she died, uh, they're referred to as the Passion of Maria Goretti. They're compared to the, the sufferings received and, and endured by our Lord. Maria被发现的时候,他已经发紧烧。当他被送到医院的时候,发烧加上脱水,令他非常口渴。
。为咗避免引发腹膜炎，医生冇办法俾佢饮水，令佢要承受更大嘅痛苦。Was her parish priest who had been called to the hospital that posed this question to Maria? He asked her, "Maria, our Lord from the cross also begged for water, but no one gave him any. Will you also offer up your thirst for sinners?" And she said, "Yes, Father, I will." And she never asked for anything again. Beneath this glass case here are some of the wrappings, the cloth that covered the operating table as Saint Maria was being operated upon. Maria 嘅身体多处被插穿，医生尽力为佢止血。喺手术嘅过程中，医生冇将佢麻醉，因为佢喺大量失血嘅情况下，心脏已经非常虚弱。麻醉药可能会令佢心脏衰竭。Throughout that surgery, in which they enlarged every one of Maria's wounds, so that they could suture her internally, Maria felt every movement of the surgeon's blade and hands. Throughout that surgery, Maria never cried out and never complained once. She offered everything up for the salvation of sinners. 急救嘅时候咧，咁啊，佢可以做得到呢样嘢，即系十一岁细路仔，谂翻转头我自己嘅仔。咁啊，即系喺呢个咁嘅情况之下，冇可能就可以忍到咁嘅痛苦，即系就算我自己都冇可能做到呢件事。咁我觉得佢好犀利。当手术完成嘅时候，玛利亚嘅身体仍然无法止血。喺身体承受住极大痛苦嘅时候，玛利亚最关心嘅系佢妈妈。Following her surgery, Maria was here lying in her hospital bed. And the rules at the time were such that family members could not stay overnight in the hospital. They were not permitted to be with a patient inside the hospital. So her concern at that time is, where is my mother going to sleep tonight? Because she was, she knew, she was aware her mother couldn't stay here. And so even in that moment, in that, in, in her dying moments. Maria's concern was outward directed. It would have been very easy for her to be inwardly directed, to, to, be, to be sorrowing about herself, but her concern was always for the state of others. 更令人难以置信嘅系，玛利亚临死前竟然讲咗呢一句说话：我原谅亚历山大，我希望会喺天堂里面再见到佢。就系、是、咁样，玛利亚喺世上十一年嘅生命就完结咗啦。For an eleven-year-old who really understand the glory of God, everlasting life, what's to come, this isn't everything. It's not all about me, the selfies and the, and the materialism. So I think Maria's message is simple, but it's incredibly deep, in that there's something bigger than yourself. For his part, Alessandro was taken to trial, at which he pleaded innocence. He said he was defending himself from the attack of Maria Goretti. Now, just as you and I don't believe him, neither did the judge, and he was sentenced to 30 years in prison. And it is said Alessandro Serenelli went to prison, the most angry man on earth. 喺圣玛利亚国内梯大殿嘅地库，设有一系列人手做嘅立体模型。将玛利亚嘅故事一幕接一幕咁样呈现出嚟，由玛利亚一家人搬到涅图洛，佢嘅爸爸染病死亡，一直到佢遇袭喺医院里面受尽痛苦等等。故事嘅转捩点发生喺以下呢一幕。This is the very famous depiction of Alessandro in the in the jail cell in which he was in, in being incarcerated. And Maria Goretti coming and appearing to him, and communicating to him the message of forgiveness and the message of pardon that would change his life and really change the course of human history. Because her story has become so incredibly popular and endearing in the heart of the church that his, it has affected the entire Catholic Church. One night, Maria appeared to him. And she didn't say anything to him, but she appeared in a garden picking 14 white 
lily flowers. 14 of flowers just like this one. And she handed those flowers to him one by one. Now she handed him 14 because it was 14 times that he had stabbed her. So what is Maria saying to Alessandro? I forgive you. By that vision that he had of her, he knew that she had forgiven him. And that act of mercy, merciful love toward him, changed his heart. His heart was no longer hardened, but softened. And so even someone who we think, you know, may never change, that gives us hope that we can never give up on anyone. Well, that act of forgiveness, that act of love, filled Alessandro with light and with the Holy Spirit. And he immediately became contrite for what he had done to that little girl. He asked for the local bishop and requested the Sacrament of Reconciliation at which he confessed having murdered her. 自从玛利亚显现俾佢之后，亚历山大嘅性情有咗一百八十度嘅转变。喺监狱里面剩低嘅日子，佢学习祈祷、阅读圣经，更加会同其他囚犯分享福音。佢良好嘅行为令佢获得减刑，最终只系喺监狱度过咗二十七年，较本嚟嘅三十年刑期为短。出狱之后，亚历山大用尽方法寻找玛利亚嘅妈妈嘅下落。After that prison sentence was complete, Maria's mother hears a knock on her door. She opens the door, and there she is standing face to face with her daughter's murderer, the man that had brought so much misery upon her. He asked her, Maria. Now her name was also Maria, Maria Assunta. Maria, do you know who I am? She replied, "Yes, I know who you are." He asked her, "Do you forgive me?" And she replied, "Alessandro, God has forgiven you. Maria has forgiven you. How can I not forgive you?" In a very moving scene, his mother sees. 呢、这個殺佢個女嘅謀殺犯出現嘅時候，我估已經係被 Maria Coretti 嘅嘅寬恕嘅精神融化咗。原來呢個寬恕係有感染力，可以感染人哋咧，去一步一步好似骨牌咁樣咧，去感染人哋，去寬恕人哋。And she accepted him that day as her own son and adopted him. That was December 24, 1932, Christmas Eve, and they both went to midnight Christmas mass together and received Holy Communion side by side. Maria was declared a sinner in 1947 and in 1950 declared a saint. Due to her participation, there were over 50 million people in attendance. The Holy Mass was not able to accept so many people. 因此，玛利亚嘅丰盛仪式系天主教会史上第一次喺室外举行嘅。马天恩神父远道嚟到大殿，好幸运能够亲身同大殿嘅主任司铎 Giovanni Alberti 神父见面。Alberti 神父曾经撰写过玛利亚嘅传记，对佢生命中嘅每一个细节都了如指掌。马天恩神父把握呢个机会向佢请教。唔讲你唔知，原来直到目前为止，玛利亚嘅妈妈系教会史上唯一一位能够出席佢个女丰盛仪式嘅家长。佢当时嘅心情究竟系点嘅咧 ？So Father Giovanni was saying that the when Maria's mother, when Mama Assunta came to Saint Peter's and saw all of the people present at the canonization. When she saw the amount of people, she was overwhelmed.、Uh, she was a very simple woman. They came from a very poor background, so there was nothing very extraordinary in their lives to this level.、Uh, I mean, the most extraordinary thing that ever happened to them was was the death of their of their daughter. So it was difficult for her to comprehend that the magnitude of the status of her daughter in the church now. At the time when Pope Pius XII arrived, and she saw him, 
she was deathly afraid and she asked, she, she began to pray to the Blessed Mother that she would be given the strength because to her it was incomprehensible that she would meet the Holy Father, the Vicar of Christ on earth. Maria 勇于宽恕的精神，彻底改变咗亚历山大的人生。佢出狱之后，同一个修道团体一齐生活，过住平静嘅日子。佢喺一九七零年去世，享年八十八岁。圣玛利亚·格莱蒂只系一个十一岁嘅小女孩，佢怀住对天主最单纯嘅信任，效法咗主耶稣喺十字架上宽恕伤害佢嘅人，成功扭转咗佢自己、佢妈妈以及亚历山大嘅命运。呢一切都源于佢嘅一个抉择。If she can forgive as a child, she can forgive someone who did something so horrific and inspire others. Imagine what if one little thing you forgive, you're holding on to a grudge from someone you went to high school with. If you could forgive that, imagine what more good we could do today, and each person could do for each other. 圣格莱蒂选择咗宽恕，成就咗一个冇人能够预知嘅完美结局。我哋喺面对伤害嘅时候，会唔会都学习佢选择宽恕？佢哋展开咗一个为期五十五日、行程超过一万公里嘅旅程。佢哋挨更底夜，开住一架卡车穿州过省，目的只有一个。The pilgrimage cannot stop. There is no room for error here. We have got to get the message. Of Maria Goretti out, mercy, mercy. Martin Yin 神父同佢个团队点样将嚟自意大利嘅圣女圣玛利亚格莱蒂慈悲嘅信息传遍美国呢？请唔好错过呢一个星期嘅爱上传。睇完呢一集《爱上传》，欢迎大家打我哋嘅热线电话嚟分享一下你嘅感受或者故事。同时，亦请收听我哋逢星期六嘅电台节目《爱生命》。要购买天主教书籍同信仰灵修礼品，请嚟我哋嘅生命恩传书社参观选购。我哋下星期同样时间再见，天主保佑。